Good morning, Saints. Welcome to the Wit Show at Saints Today. Today is Thursday, Octo- October 6th, and we are broadcasting live from our Park of the Week, Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. It's named after the pioneer, Engineer Bryce, who is here in the studio with me today. Good morning, Mr. Bryce. Mr. Bryce is a carpenter who came from his family in, in Perea Valley in 1875. Now it's time for the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand up in your classroom and place your right hand over your heart. Are you ready, Saints? Let's begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for Here are the Gold Badge Award winners for August and September. There were a lot of fifth graders nominated for their great work they did. Congratulations to you, Hayden, Walker, Caroline, Ariana, Major, and Finley. Congratulations to Sully for being the first, the winning student to take home ever St. Mary's duck hatching home with him. We know this duck will have a good home with you, and we look forward to seeing some pictures in the future as the duck grows up. That's one lucky duck. The Saints Blue soccer team remained undefeated on their season with a 2-1 to win over Tampa Day School. Jack played the ma- majority of the goal game in the goal and made some key saves. George finished the game in the goal after scoring the first goal of the game. Chase was a factor in both in both goals and he assisted the first goal and eventually scored the game winner. Hugh was credited on with the assist on the game winning goal. The girls' gold volleyball team earned a victory against a strong Berkeley team yesterday behind the consistent passing and defensive grace and hope. Grace also had an incredible serve in Game 2, which helped us extend our lead against the Bucks. Evie played her best match of the season, offensively and defensively. She added key points behind the serve line as well. Ella was strong offense force for the Saints. They claimed a 25-18, 25-19 victory. Way to go, Saints! On the blue team took on Berkeley, Berkeley Prep at home, adding another win to their undefeated season. Coach Tuttle and Coach Graves mixed up the lineups to allow 7th grade and 8th grade girls to play together, and the results were awesome. The finished game was a nail-biter with a final of 25-22, to with and many solid three-hit rallies between both teams, as well as an impactful serving from Gigi. The second game made the Saints quick work of the Bucks to incredible serving run from Caroline Bertozzi closing out the match 25 to 11. Go Saints! A JV girls volleyball team played a close three set match against Berkeley. The Saints fell short of their first set 24-14 but did not give up. St. Mary's was on the fire the second set and never looked back as they looked at the win 25 to 2. Arden and Jocelyn both had a great serve as Berkeley's defense struggled to return. The third set came down to the wire, but the Saints were able to finish their game 15-13. to After being several points, we are very proud of the JV t- girls team as far, far by far their toughest opponent yet this season. If you have not been able to catch a game, be sure to come to our out to next week and watch the Saints in action. Way to go, girls! Now please bow your head for the morning prayer. Lord, please help us to think about the things that are re- that are true, noble, right, pure, lovingly, admirable, excellent, and praiseworthy. Thank you for giving us the ability to learn, grow, and be challenged to do our best. We pray for a good, healthy health over our fr- fa- fr- families and friends today. We are so grateful for all of you many blessings. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it for Saints News. It's time to go over to Mr. Salvo, who's here with some special guests from second grade. Good morning, Mr. Salvo. Good morning, Wit. Uh, I think Wit deserves to call it the Wit Show today because that was an intense, uh, just an intense, just explosion of information and news and so forth. Our sports teams are doing really well. What have you guys been able to come to any games yet this year? Any sports um, games? No. No. Okay. Well, that's okay. Was, there's opportunities. <laughs> Yesterday at the sports games, I saw students in the stands. I saw teachers in the stands. Lots of parents, obviously. Um, great, great time of year here. So, hey, everybody, it's a half day. It's Thursday. We are dismissing at 12 noon today. And that after that, it is parent-teacher conference time. And so, in many cases, your parents are going to be coming in and talking to one or more of your teachers and just checking in on things and seeing how they're going. So, um, where... Smith, are you nervous about parent-teacher conferences, or do you think these are going to be really positive reports? 
Um, neither. <laughs> Where is neutral? And Smith, what do you think? You think it's gonna? You think your parents are gonna come back to ha- to the house with a smile on their face, or do you think you might be losing your like? PS4 for a while. Yeah. Neither? Yeah. Okay. Everyone's in good shape. That's great. Well, hey, even if, just a reminder, even if you get some tough news, it's, it's, all about, we, it's all about love, just like Father Mario talked about in chapel. We're trying to help you be the best you that you can be, and so sometimes you need to fall down a little bit and struggle in order to get there. So struggle is good sometimes, and sometimes those learning opportunities are the best opportunities you have here at St. Mary's. All right. Where? And Smith. Are in second grade, Mrs. Greaves' home room. I think we have a smorgasbord of jokes. Do you have anything? Do you want to give a shout out to anybody today, Smith? Uh, shout out to anybody in the studio or anyone back at the classroom or out in the community. My mom. Your mom. Mrs. Tolbert, who's here as a guest. She's a, she's a teacher now too. Do you see her a lot during the school day? Uh, Sometimes. Yes. That's nice. That's exciting. A exciting moment when you get to see your mom in school. Where? What about you? Who's a shout out? Uh, my dogs. Your dogs. What are your dogs' names? <laughs> Teddy and Duncan. Teddy and Duncan. All right. <laughs> f- <laughs> I I, uh, I hope I can meet them at some point. All right. Let's get going because I'm I'm totally filibustering. I'm keeping this meeting going on way too long, and it's a half day of school anyway. Smith, you have a fact, right? Let's hear your fact. Did you know Albert Pujols just became the fourth baseball player ever to hit 700 home runs? He is 42 years old. Albert Pujols hit the 700 career home run mark, and he's 42 years old. And do you know what the other home run record was just broken recently? The number 60, it was Aaron Judge, remember that? Do you see Aaron Judge? He hit 62 home runs. He broke the American League record, and some people like me believe like, it probably should be the legitimate record, but 62 home runs in a season. Do you play baseball? Yes. Have you ever hit a home run? Yes. Would you have a celebration at the end? Would you do like a special dance or no? You just, very matter of fact, business-like, go back to the dugout. Okay. It's, all my, it's always been my dream. I think hitting a home run would be like, just, I'm sure it's an amazing feeling. Where? Yeah. Uh, well, you want to start with your joke or your fact? I only have a joke, so joke. Okay, joke. Let's hear it. How do you fix a broken jack o' lantern? I love the Halloween theme. We're now only, what, two and a half weeks away from Halloween. How do you fix the broken jack o' lantern? I don't know. You give it some pumpkin patch. You give it some pumpkin patch. I go patch it up with some pumpkin. It works. That works. <laughs> Why are you so serious? You're looking. <laughs> um, what are you guys doing this weekend? Anything fun? Um, You're probably going to Georgia, right? No. What? Are you doing anything fun where this weekend? I have no idea. All right. You guys have tomorrow. This afternoon off. You have Friday off tomorrow. You've got your normal Saturday Sunday weekend, and you have Monday off for our fall holiday. So we'll see you back here on Tuesday. Uh, today's still day of school. Like, take it seriously. Listen to your teachers. Be good to each other. Let's have a great day. Thank you guys for coming in today and sharing all your stories and your home run trot. I like, enjoyed hearing about your dogs and everything. Let's have a fantastic Thursday. You ready? Three, two, one. Go Saints! Have a great day, everybody. <laughs>